Next up, three words John hates. Actually, four. There's a couple of things that uh, really bug me um, about uh, English and about English words, too. Uh, there are three words that I just uh, despise with a visceral passion. Uh, one of them is things, everything. How are things? And th things are great. Look at that thing over there. What does thing mean? It's a kind of a vacuous uh, word and has very little meaning um, except for context. And um, so I don't like that. Uh, I think that you can always find words that are better off than things. This is uh, this is in written language. Yeah, just never, to reiterate, right? never in speech. No, no one cares about speech. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Well, then if you're also, giving a speech, you care. Yeah. But 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 yeah, I get it. Yeah. So so how do you write around that? Because it's it is it, it's a way to 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 move well, how fast. Are th right? How are things? How are things, Todd? Yeah. Um, how are you yeah. feeling today, Todd? Um, yeah. Uh, what's going on in your life, Todd? Uh, there's so many ways you can work around that, even in speech. But I mean, we're never worrying about speech. We're just worrying about writing. Right. So, I'll see it in writing though quite frequently. Oh yeah, sure. No. But if you say, if you were to pre precede things with, there are several things that bother me about that. Well, there's Does that bother things. you? Well, if you say it, no, but if you're right, there are several issues that trouble me. Okay. I mean, yeah. you always find a better word than things. And which, of course, they're sending them, so they, they mean basically the same thing. So. How would you substitute thing there? Or is it things with the S that's the problem? Oh, I just think it's such a, it's an empty word. I mean, it has no meaning except, you know, for what's uh, come before, you know, what, what you're talking about. So okay. I don't know. I just don't no. know what thing that. I don't, I don't like the word sucks. Sucks, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, pe <clears throat> people are saying all the time, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a, <clears throat> a frog in my throat. Ribbit. You're Ribbit. right. Do you have any water? Ribbit. I don't want you keeling Ribbit. over, <clears throat> John. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. Um, but um, uh, sucks. I don't think it sucks because um, it, it comes, and most people know this from uh, fellatio or cunnilingus. Um, and um, but kids use it all the time. Well, this this sucks. That sucks. But they don't really know where it comes from. And right. Course, you know, I have a foulest mouth that any person you've ever met. But uh, I just, there are certain words that I, if I wouldn't use the f word, it's lost. It's it's lost initial meaning. Like. Uh, um, you know, say, um, God damn it. Well, 40, 50 years ago, that was like calling, you know, God from the heavens to damn some, someone, or as nowadays, it's just a, a saying that's, uh, has no, um, uh, real, um, uh, bearing about God. Yeah. Just like saying, oh, shucks. Yeah. It's a, well, it's a brief outburst of emotion, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. It's a vehicle to express something a little more base or guttural than, than a lot of other words would manage. That's interesting. So we got things, sucks, and, and then, then what's the third one? Bi-weekly or biannual. I just hate oh, yeah. to say, okay, we're going to have bi-weekly meetings, even from context. You don't know what I'm talking about. Are we going to meet twice a week or are we going to meet every other week? We it means both, right? Yeah, it, it does. Means... You don't know. Even, there's no contextual clues. Yeah. That's it. We're going to have biannual uh, meeting. Well, does that mean, you know, every two years or twice a year? But so, how do you write around that? Well, um, let's see. Um, we're going to have a meeting in a week, or we're going to have a meeting in two weeks. That's all I can think of. To right. Do. Kind of we're going to meet twice a week, or we're going to meet every other week. Yeah. Right. So and I think if you're meeting every other year, you don't even yeah. have to worry about talking about it because two years from now is so long that people will forget that you even said it. Well, half the people or wrote it. Half the people will be dead if they're my age. <laughs> right. Good. Okay. So we've got biweekly, biannual, biweekly, biannually, or biweekly, biannual. Sucks and things. Yeah, and so I'm, it's not like don't ever use them, but no. it's. I think it's something that is legit in that. Hey, these are not necessarily the most. There's usually better ways to say things than those words, probably. Exactly. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. Got it. Good. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, please let us know in the comments.